Hi, I'm Anna. Whoa. <laughs> I'm Ainsley, and I'm a senior. We're from North Platte High School. And this poem, <laughs> and this poem is titled "Our Sermon." The minute we are born, no one questions that before we have our first conceivable thought, we are told what to believe. Christian babies grow up Christian. Muslim babies grow up Muslim. Jewish babies grow up Jewish. I am a Christian. I'm a Muslim. It's a sin to stray from the thoughts of those who came before us, but why? Religion is a multiple choice test. I have five options to choose from, and, and everyone seems to have a different, different key. There's never a concept of just believing what I believe. Or never having to defend it. A church is my loneliest place on earth, but having a relationship with God is the most comforted I've ever, ever felt. The more times I spent within the walls of a church, the, the more I forget why I'm there. Church acts as a gallery for the sinless, but it seems more like a repair shop for the broken. Why is that something to hide? Why is no one allowed to see the truth? I hate feeling like a lost cause because I don't go to mosque when I have the opportunity. But I have a stronger relationship with God in coffee shops. On midnight car rides that have no direction. In parks in the middle of March. In a crowd of people where, where the, the only voice I can hear is mine. Why is the way I choose to pray wrong? What makes theirs right? I don't feel closer to God in a place of worship. I have a stronger relationship in my own ways. Why would I conform to something that's supposed to make my faith grow stronger when, when all it does is weaken it? When did church start to feel like a cult? A place to conform people, to make them feel something they'll never feel. It seems that they'd rather have something mass produced, like a doll coming out of a factory, than a real person. Won't we lose our value if we're all the same? Religion is an assembly line of sinless events. Don't have sex. Don't drink. Go to church every Sunday. Read the Bible. You make it seem like making the mosque happy is how I make God happy. But making myself happy? There's nothing he disliked more. My, My disobedience is not rebellion. I'm not trying to start the revolt against religion. Or the war against worship. It should be more simple than this. Faith shouldn't be an infection. Just because one person has it, doesn't mean everyone else should do. And if it's the cure, why do we assume everyone has the disease? Religion is what gets a lot of people through life. I get that. If you believe in it, believe it. But if I hear one more person try to tell me that my life would be better if I just had a stronger faith, I, I might scream. scream. Testimony won't fix my experience. No matter how many times it's preached at me. The purpose of religion was never to make me miserable. The rules and regulations. Preventing us from doing the things we want to do most. We, we die. Not having experienced the things we had the strongest urges to do. I don't want to live my life constantly feeling like I'm drowning. The pressure to believe what everyone else does constantly weighing me down. All I want to do is, is have, have enough freedom to float. I will say this until it runs me into my own grave. Maybe then people will understand. This God isn't my God. Maybe I don't need him to be.